right, so we got that loaded up. Now I gotta back it into the lean-to. And I don't know if you know how to back hay wagons, but they're extremely hard because the pivot point is on the front of the wagon. So they're extremely hard to back up. So I'm gonna attempt to do it. Hopefully I can, otherwise we gotta unload this. So I'm gonna set you up back here and watch the action. There we go. It only took me 10 tries maybe, but it's in there. So you can see how tricky it is to get those in there. All right, we're gonna continue in the garage, get some things moved around and um, get ready for the chickens and the turkeys. Right, sit back and relax. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to the hobby farm. Uh, today we are getting our 10 turkeys for uh, the fair, if the fair goes. Um, so we got to pick them up this afternoon. So we're going to go ahead and get the pen ready. And I got a little bit more cleaning to do in the garage. I did that yesterday. This is the next day. So let's go ahead and get that pen ready and uh, get this garage organized. I got a little tractor in there I got to get started. So I probably have to jump that and uh get that all ready and then i have to get the chicken pen ready for the meat birds because they're coming tomorrow there's 60 of those so next couple days gonna be pretty busy and uh hopefully the weather warms up a little more it's probably 41 right now um they're calling the 60s by the end of the week weekend but a lot of rain so hopefully the rain comes at night like it did last night not much so it doesn't get it all wet again. It's just now starting to dry up a little bit and uh, get some things done around here. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Well, I didn't get it uh, started. I think it's just bad gas inside the carburetor. So I pushed it over there so I can work on it. But I still got to get all this stuff out of the way and then I'm gonna move uh, the baby chickens and the baby ducks back here in this area. And then I'll probably uh, build the chicken brooder right in this area. That way this side of the garage is just for the animals and I can still utilize that side to work on things and uh, do whatever. So let's get at that.
So I got them moved back here. Chickies. And then the duckies. So this, and then the turkeys are going here. When, I, when the kids get back, they're gonna set this all up. And then I'm gonna clean up this mess right here. A uh, couple cat cages right there. I'll just move those back. Uh, hang up my leaf blower. A couple chairs will go up on a shelf. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do with that dishwasher. If I end up throwing it away, I mean, it's, it's fairly new, but I just don't really have anything to do with it. I don't have room in my house for it because I have a smaller kitchen and it's not designed for one right now. So, see if somebody wants it for free. I don't know. But for now, I'll just put it in the back here where everything else is. But then that'll leave all this area up here. I can do the chicken brooder right here. So, let's get finished up cleaning this up and uh, get organized for the chickens. guys now I got things somewhat moved around I know that corner over there is needs some attention but my objective is to be able to clear this spot out so I can get the chicken brooder built We're ready for the turkeys we're gonna pick those up tonight at 7 I'll let you in on that um, not sure why so late but I guess that's you know the people that's doing it that's their time schedule so we'll get that done and then tomorrow our friends are picking up the chickens like I said, it'll be 60 of those. And they'll go in the brooder that I'm about to build. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. That way it's done. And uh, then maybe I'll continue working on that little tractor. Uh, like I said, I'll probably have to take the carburetor off that thing and clean it out and all that good stuff. So as far as the rest of the day goes and maybe the rest of this week, uh, a few other things we gotta get done. I am gonna start building that stall. Uh, probably this weekend because it's supposed to be raining and all that good stuff. So I'll do whatever inside work I can get done. And next few videos, I don't know how much it'll be of projects. Maybe just be of the farm. You know, how things are going and vlog style videos. But, uh, you know, stay tuned. We got big projects coming up. So gardening we're about three weeks out for that it's just this weather just won't straighten up like today it's 41 degrees again a little bit of sunshine but not a lot it's just uh it's, it's typical ohio i mean you'll have a uh, good weather for a week and the next week it's snowing so but yeah so it's it's nothing unusual so eventually we'll get the garden in and i'll show you that process you know some people don't like that some people do so like I said, these videos are, it could be on anything. You know, it's not one particular thing. We do all kinds of different things here. And like I said, as soon as the racetracks reopen, hopefully we can get some videos of some of the horses getting trained and stuff like that. So, you know, stay tuned. There'll be some more interesting things. So let's get at that chicken coop or chicken brooder and uh, get that built. So sit back and relax. Okay, here's the pieces of our brooder. Uh, it, I did build it as like a chicken tractor before. It was like eight by eight, way too big. That was the first year we ever did chickens and it was a massive failure. It was just uh, too big. And I only have it off the ground about an inch and a half. So it was just, it was horrible. We tried to wheel them out of here and uh, it didn't go very well. So from now we just, we build it in the garage, put a tarp down so it doesn't, you know, soak into the um, garage floor. Plus once they're out of here, I take everything out of this garage, which is a task in itself and pressure wash the floor. So, but this is what we have and this is what we're gonna utilize. So I'm gonna put this together, just it forms in basically an eight by eight and uh, that's pretty much it. You know, we let them stay in there for a while and uh, 
I think this year we might move them outside, but I don't know. It's only eight weeks. You know, we're, I think we're two weeks behind normal. We'd normally have them right at the beginning of April. And that was the biggest reason why we kept them in the garage, you know, because <clears throat> the weather is still pretty cold and in the garage keeps them out of all the elements and we can keep heat lamps on them. And we, we usually don't lose too many. Last year we had a lot come from the post office dead, but uh, this year we're actually going to pick them up. So hopefully we don't have that problem this year. But yeah, so we're gonna get this together and I'll show you basically what it is. It's pretty simple, you know. And you know, these chickens are not hard to raise. It's like an eight week period to get up to 10 to 12 pounds. Try not to get them 12 pounds because they have a hard time walking around. 10 pounds is about where we want them. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's get this thing together and get some sawdust in it. Sit back. All right, well, I forgot to turn the camera on, but this is it. This is the brooder. They're going to put a bag of shavings in there. And uh, we'll get a waterer in there and a uh, feeder in there. No, right here. Get, grab that red knife. And uh, we'll get ready and set it up. And then we're going to put a half a bag of shavings in the turkey brooder, and we're ready to go. But... Uh, I wish I would have turned the camera on to show you how simple this was set up because these are our, all this stuff's pre built. We've had it for four years now, so we just use the same thing over and over. But uh, that's it. Now you're going to watch the crazy kids put sawdust in here. All right. Okay, so now we're all ready, and uh, I'll get back with you guys tonight when we go pick up the turkeys. I'll catch you later. All right, we got them. Open up the box. Let's look inside. There's our meat turkeys. Four H turkeys, I should say. Aw, they're so. They don't even look like turkeys. Huh? Just guys. Now we'll okay, those take them home and uh, get them in their little place. Help them uh, find the water and food. Little place. They're so cute. They're so tiny. Oh, good, buddy. Go over there. Sure, those are turkeys. Huh. Yeah. Kind of look like chickens. Well, their head. Look at their heads. Yeah. Uh, I can't even tell if they're chickens or turkeys. That one looks cute. Oh, they're so, so cute. They're so unstable. They're like. Like. Whoa! They're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. Oh. They're so cute. Oh, guys. Don't eat the shavings, Zumbo. Uh oh. Well. Dip them, start dipping them, you bugs. Oh, come here, little turkey. Um, they're stupid, too. Like, they'll eat the shavings, but they won't eat their food. Hey, where's the water? I didn't get the shavings. All right, so we're going to get them to find the water. Um, we got to dip each one. And then we got the little oh. shiny things in the um, okay, uh, feed, so that, uh, that attracts them, so they'll start eating the food. And that's about it. So once they find everything, Whoa, right um, they'll be okay. So hopefully it's, uh, we might put one more lamp on them tonight just for the heck of it because it's a little chilly. So, yeah. All right. That's the baby turkeys. So I'm going to end the video here. So please uh, give me a like and subscribe and shoot a comment if you're willing to. I'll catch you guys later.